hello Southies welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Cece and today we are doing a brand new let's build series so after my last let's build series which was let's build a hotel I went on to my Twitter and I asked my followers what would they like to see me to build next I did a poll that included a wedding venue slash church cafe um, I think a residential house and I think there was one more option but uh, the one that obviously won was the wedding venue slash church and so that's what we're gonna be building today now of course I love making my builds multifunctional so it's not just gonna be a wedding venue it's gonna be a lounge a cafe I think a park and maybe I'll include a gym. I know of churches that have like community gyms that you can go and you can, you know, play basketball or have workout equipment. And so one thing I am gonna do is I don't want this to be the traditional steeple type of church. That's not the type of church that I attend. So I want it to have sort of a modern feel. So let's hop into build mode. Let's take a look and see what we can do. Okay, so I am here on this lot in Willow Creek. It's a 50 by 50 lot. Um, I don't think, I think when you first open base game, there's a house, there is a house here, but I don't think anybody, like there's no townies that live here, no EA townies that live here. It's just a free lot that you can purchase. Uh, pay no attention to the garden in the background. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think this will be a good lot because like I said, I kind of want to make a church that is very multifunctional and is more of a church that I go to, which is kind of a big church. I go to, I guess you could call it a mega church. I don't know. I know for me, I nickname it the Mall of Jesus because it looks like a mall. And I, what I'm thinking about doing, I have a church that I built a long time ago before I started streaming or streaming or YouTubing or any of that. You'll, you will have seen it in my Rags Riches episode where my sim self gets married. It's a smaller version. It's in um, Lindenburg on the park lot. And so what I'm thinking about doing is essentially making that lot but bigger. And yeah, so just so I can fit all the stuff that I want to in it. And of course, I have to have big, at least big space in the middle for the actual sanctuary where you would have the wedding so it'll kind of be like a big box in the middle or a box like shape in the middle and then around the sides I'll have some spaces uh, for uh, you to utilize for like a cafe and maybe a gym area and a library I'll have like a library that you can set it up that way and then in the back I'll have like playground equipment and maybe a community garden and that kind of thing that way you can kind of have this build be whatever you want. Um, and so, yeah, let's kind of get started on the front portion. I think in this video, I'm just gonna kind of start with the exterior, just kind of like I've always been doing. And I'm trying to keep in mind, let's see, from here to here, there's about three spaces. So I definitely want there to be kind of like a drive moment. I kind of want to put that on here before I do too much of anything else. I think what will suck is the fact that I can't get this color here. I could, but like actual, like if I laid down a floor, it won't go to the border. But with the landscaping tools or the, you know, terrain tools, I can make it go to the border. So I'm just here. Let me for a guide. I think we'll have like a drive here. And I'm gonna just put that down as kind of like my border to not go any further than that. And then I'll clean it up on the other side. Maybe I'll plop some cars down there. Let's see, we could probably we could probably make it a touch bigger. Let's Keep this back it's a 50 by 50 lot so it's it's deceptive it makes you think that it can be big I think for a residential lot it's it's too big I think for a community lot 
Like you say a park, anytime I try to build a park on one of these larger lots, I feel like I run out of room so quickly because I want to put all this stuff in it. And then of course all the playground equipment's kind of big and then I want to put like a basketball court and yoga spot and like a community garden. And by the time it's all said and done, I feel like I have, I have no space. But okay, so that's kind of like here is our entrance, I guess you could say. Let's clean it up just a smidge. Okay, and so now I'm gonna work on kind of the facade. And I kind of want it to be slightly um, off center. So this is gonna be sort of our entrance. I'm gonna cut that there. What I'll do, I want it to be a long entrance, so like that. And then I will make these columns, skip every, and then I'll make them, make these walls, um, half walls, and what we'll probably do is I'll probably put like flower beds or something right there. Um, so there we got that. So this is our walkway. I'm going to put, stick with the half walls. Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll just put like a border across it. Yeah, like that, something like that. Something, obviously I wanna stick with a more modern vibe. I think the white would just look better. Um, let's see. Don't know if this will look good going all the way across, but we'll have that. And so sort of the idea I kind of get on like a Sims level is you walk in and there'll be like a set of doors right here. And so I think with that, this side, I'm gonna go ahead and put a box here, but I'm gonna put it right there. So we'll have that end. I think I'll make this side one level and then on this way, that's when we'll get that portion started right there. Hmm, yeah, I think that that will be good. And what I might do is create it to where there's a fountain moment that starts right here. Yeah, we'll do like that. We'll do like a fountain moment right there. And so all of this can be, we can make it something. I'm not sure just yet, but we can make it something. So then I wanna put some big modern windows um, right at the front of the build. So let's see what I'm thinking. I'm obsessed with the eco lifestyle ones, all of the eco lifestyle ones, but I think I'll do like the glass, this, the plain glass plated ones. Let's see, let me just get to the pack. I still don't know what color I want the build to be, so I'll just go with the white for now. And if I like a particular color better, should it be, should they be side by side? No, I like the idea of skipping in between the wall. And maybe what I can do is I can continue that um, column moment. Maybe not. Then again, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna kinda go above because like I said, I want there to be the, the um, sanctuary or the actual wedding portion right in the middle. It's all right, so let's see. You come inside this right here so let's put a door there just so we don't forget and what door would work best i think i could go with a big door i like the idea of a plain glass door like something like that it won't fit okay let me pull in bb okay and i've got the move objects cheat on so i do that door i love the ooh. i love the idea of this door from Realm of Magic as if it was maybe, like maybe this church, maybe it's been on the same lot for years, but this church, they had an old portion that they tore down or remodeled or something like that, but they kept certain elements from the old church, like this kind of old school door. Isn't that pretty? I think that'll work. All right, so now I want like a big lobby type of area which a lot of churches have. Just the area where you greet people, you can hang out a little bit before services start. You could get coffee, but we'll make a more designated area for that. I wish I could make it, well, I guess I could like have free coffee, but I do wanna have like an actual cafe as well, where you could get like 
breakfast foods and stuff. So we have this area, so then if you come around this way, I'm gonna kind of bump it back a little. We'll make, so I gotta think about the fact that I need bathrooms. So let's put, ooh, I always forget bathrooms. Always, always. And usually in larger churches, they do have larger bathrooms. So I'm trying to think about what that's gonna look like but we might have to put let's put let's put bathroom somewhere else we need them but I'm just gonna do a hallway here just a sort of normal hallway here and I'll put these windows on this side to continue that moment but I'm not gonna space them out as much there we go see this is what I mean by deceptive because I feel like I'm already running out of space and I'm not gonna have enough room for what I want to do. I'm gonna get rid of some of this. How do I just get rid of the whole thing? Okay, I got rid of some of that. I might end up getting rid of more, but I think that that's okay. I think that the actual sanctuary portion will just be this. Because let's face it, unless you have a mod, there's not very many Sims that will actually show up to your wedding. I have a mod where I can get a bunch of sims on a single lot if I wanted to. So there. Um, so here, I'll make this portion right here. Let me pull it out some. My cafe, but I need another hallway here. But this hallway you won't see from the outside. This hallway will contain bigger, a little bigger. Let's put some stairs on this side because this side I could go probably go and go upstairs and so on this side I will have maybe like the library hmm let's make the library a little bit let's make it bigger yeah so I can have enough space to put desks and bookcases things like that let's see let's see what I got all right so far I like it I like it thus far okay so this hallway Maybe I can put the bathrooms back off here, but I want there to actually be stalls. And I feel like the university stalls are so big. Maybe if I kind of plot them out a little. So these are the skinny ones. And I want two sets of bathrooms. And of course you can utilize them any way you would like, but I want them to be like girl bathrooms, boy bathrooms. And then wherever I put the kids area, like the kids spot, I'll have some toddler potties. All right, so that's one set of bathrooms. I'll skip in the middle or put like three squares in the middle. I think it's good. And then I'll put three here. I'm not gonna keep that color though. That color is gonna have blue, blue ones. Okay, so that should be enough to where I can put a wall to back them up. And let's connect this part right there. So when they come down this hallway, I will continue met with the bathrooms. We'll do a family bathroom right here because we have those at the church I go to. So, there we go, we got toilets. I don't know what this is. Oh, because they're slightly, they're slightly outside. Okay, let's fix that. There should be enough room to put sinks. Here, I'm going to bump this one up against this wall. They don't actually fit inside the grid, inside the grid. Like I wish they'd just like, well, I guess they do take up two spaces, but of course they're wide. You could probably fit, I might fit like a shower in there too, because like I said, I do kind of want to add a gym. So maybe there can be a shower. And then like here can be the gym portion. And I'll make all the back a double ceiling, like vaulted ceilings, especially at least the sanctuary might not put like a, but yeah, I want like vaulted ceiling. Sorry if my eye is doing, is acting weird. My contact is kind of messed up a little bit. So yeah, this will be the bathrooms. I'll put, uh, I think I will go ahead and I'll put like a shower or two in here. Let's separate them from the toilets here. I'll put like a whole moment on that side and the same on this side. Way it's a little bit more separate. So I'll put the doors like right here. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna make them unisex bathrooms, but feel free if you do decide to download this build, if that's what you would like, go ahead. It does not bother me. All right, so, okay, I've got that. And so then this area, I will make it inside. So it's a gym that's kind of closed off like a traditional gym, but then, 
one gym piece of equipment that I really wanted to get in here that I can never get in here because it is so big and I don't want it to mess up the gameplay is this huge thing here which never fits so let's see what size wall is this I've got this on medium wall height I guess I can make it taller yeah, make it taller just for this dumb gym equipment. That makes perfect sense. The only issue is I would love to have it be sort of like an outdoor piece, but it might take up too much room. But what I guess I could do, I because I'm thinking about just making these ceilings kind of vaulted, at least here, then it would be enclosed. And then here will be all outdoors. And then upstairs, let's see, this, I think it stops there, will be an upstairs space. I can put like an office, maybe some classroom type spaces. So this can all be outdoors for like community gardens and playground equipment, a basketball court, that kind of thing. And then this will all be vaulted as well. So like I have that, but then I'm gonna F you ceiling. <laughs> Have that like that. Here, let's close that off. There we go. And I'm gonna do another one. Just, just want it to be over the sanctuary portion and the this gym portion right here. Just so that I can fit in that stupid piece of gym equipment. Okay, so then Here's where it's going to get somewhat interesting. I'm gonna use half walls to showcase different levels of the build. Cause one feature that I like about more modern style churches is that it looks like they're kind of like different levels sometimes. I have no idea if I'm making any kind of sense. I do kind of want, I was debating, but I do kind of want that to be covered. Not a lot, just a little, and then I'm going to bring this freeze trim. Oh, I gotta place it, I gotta put a room. That is the floor. Why aren't you working? Must be on a taller freeze? Okay, well that thing sticks out, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Okay, let's go to these half walls. Okay, so starting from here, there. Goodness gracious, I hope this doesn't look ridiculous. Okay, I have that one. And then this one, I want it to be smaller. No, actually, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave this this size, but I'm gonna put a, a freeze on it. Um, and let's see if I can do a different style. I'm gonna put a floor to make that work. Okay, that way I have kind of it a, a different level. This side I'm gonna put a half gable roof. Do that. And then along this hall way I'll put a smaller in here. Maybe will this disappear if I put these here? No they won't. They won't disappear. Don't know if I like it. Let's take a look. Okay. I added a half wall to the top of the walkway too. I think that that looks good. Okay, this here is gonna be the cafe. I kind of was thinking about doing another half gable roof moment, but I also want a skylight, I think, over here too. But let me see. We don't need a skylight. Let's see how this looks. We can always do that trick where we'll put three pieces as roofs and the middle piece will be glass so we could have a skylight moment. Okay, so yeah, so far I like it. Yeah, so far I like it. Now, in that build, I created the front portion or that build that I have, that I the small church that I have. I created the for front portion to where it looked like it had like a cross the way that the, um, I'm pointing, you can't see me point, the way that I have the entryway done. And so, you know, it is definitely something that if you, if you want to download this build and you want the church or it to not look like a church, you can get rid of this. It is not going to hurt my feelings in any form or fashion. But, let's see, how can I make this 
Okay, so I think this is what I got. So it looks like a little, a little cross. So we know, at least for this, is that it is meant to be a church. And I'll make the cross part look like wood. The rest of the build, I think, will be very industrial looking. Okay, and so I've changed my mind. I'm not gonna do a skylight, but I am gonna put some more really big, beautiful windows. And I'll think I'll put, do these come larger? They actually do. Again, I still don't know what color I want this to be, but these have, these look like, they have like a pattern on it, which I think is really cute. Yes, they look like little trees. Perfect. That's so cute. Okay, so I need, I want these to be in the middle, so I'm gonna scoot that over just a touch. It doesn't have to be big. We're just probably gonna flop some, some tables and chairs in there, and of course the little um, cafe station, so that'll be good. It doesn't have to be huge, um, but I do need to put walkways to answer from there. Okay, let's come up with some color schemes. So there, like I said, there are a lot of images on Pinterest of very modern looking churches that have very neutral color palettes, which I am definitely here for. How about we use the university to be the downstairs main facade. We can use this jungle adventure to be this portion. Kind of want the cafe to kind of have a more darker look. Maybe it look it can have like it looks like a steel type of roofing. I think that looks nice. And then this building over here can look like a more maybe not completely traditional brick, but a slightly more traditional brick from Realm of Magic. That kind of makes me want to get rid of that, um, get rid of that eco lifestyle trim. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so for the sanctuary portion, I do want there to be some windows, but not like huge ones. You should be able to see or have like the light kind of streaming in. How about just, how many do I need? There's two there, you need to be spaced well. You look, let's do that and I'll put like one, maybe two up this way. And then the same for over here. So not a lot of natural light, but a little. A little bit of natural light can come through. And then for this spot, let's see, I'm probably gonna have to quickly, let me do a, I'll do a floor plan for this, or at least put like a door. So this is the library. I'm gonna do a big wood door. Okay, so the library, I want it to be nice and cozy and quiet for you to read. And then this is the upstairs. I'll put, let's see, there's tons of space. Um, maybe what I can do, let's get a half wall the half wall right here and at least do it like that. That way, like when you look up, oh, I could put, oh, I could put a strip of, um, a strip of those island living pieces, the skylights. At least they're more used to look um, down into the water, but we could use this here. Probably be helpful if I clicked on the right path. There we go, these pieces, hopefully they're in the right spot. I don't really care necessarily what color they are, at least not right now, because I just, I'm thinking of more of what the inside will look like. Currently, all the light is shining here, but let's see. Oh, that was pretty. So none of it will really get downstairs, but it's okay. Okay, so up here, we'll just have a couple of like offices that you could utilize for anything that you would like. I was thinking maybe, ooh, and, ooh, how about instead of an office or all of this being an office, this can be like a, we can have like a full kitchen up here 
and a little like area to say for like if you if you have like a rags to riches sim and they don't have a house yet maybe the church has space like a couple of rooms that with the with a single bed and like a, sh a bathroom and a shower that your sims can stay in that's cool that way they don't have to sleep on park benches and then in your gameplay it'll just it'll obviously it'll be for free but maybe to make it where they can't stay very long because you know you want to be able to have that space for other people who are in need but they can stay long enough so I'll have this be a kitchen and I'll just do a couple of rooms so this can be a room where sim can stay I don't want them to be too big either because they're supposed to be just like a space where your sim will have the bare necessities I have to think about how I want that to be arranged. Okay, so I've created, I think, a space that will do what I want it to do. So I've got four bedrooms here that will just have a bed, a nightstand, maybe a chair or something. So nothing fancy. Um, maybe, yeah, all that. Because we'll have a whole library downstairs with with computers and, and all that stuff and there'll be a space where you can watch TV or something like that. Um, we'll have a full kitchen here which will be helpful if you do use this as a wedding venue. You won't have to bring food from home. You can just set it up here or you can hire a caterer that can cook here. And then in this open space I might put some games and some couches like some arcade games and some couches. But yeah, I think that spot is good. So now that I've got that, I'm gonna add in some windows. And I like the idea of the university windows, but like maybe these, and I'll skip the bathroom. Okay, I don't think I can skip the bathrooms. It's gonna look weird if I don't have them there. So I might have to move this over. I need to be able to put a sink somewhere too, so that'll be good. I'd like them to be spaced out somewhat evenly. evenly. Maybe this portion of the build is the older portion that they decided to keep. Okay, so I think that that will look cool. Um, I might have to play with the windows a little bit more, but I like the idea that it kind of looks like an old, like maybe it's an older section of the original build that might have been here before building and then all of this is the modern part let me pull this over this clean slate over here to the bathrooms that way it can kind of look we can mirror each other a little bit okay so then the back of this build let's see I want to keep, do I want to make this part white? Remember, this part is the gym over here. We can probably put skylights back here too, or up here too. Let's make it a different color as well. Okay, I started to do this eco lifestyle, <laughs> the container one, but I don't really like it. It doesn't look cool to me. Um, um, what about this wall from Get Famous? I mean, it's at the back of the build. No one is really gonna see it. It'd be the idea, unless you just wanna look at it. I don't know. I don't know about this. I can't find anything that I like about this uh, outdoor retreat wood. All right, so I added a piece here to the front of the build that's slightly taller. Maybe I can make it even taller. Now, should it be a different color? That's the question. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but it might add a little bit more architectural value if it were. I'm gonna make this freeze here darker to match better with that bottom piece. Do you know what? I put in a lot of effort, a lot of work today. I think it looks really good. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here because I think this is definitely the structure that I wanna go for. Yeah, I think this looks good. It's a good start. I might make some changes off camera. I'm definitely gonna finish kind of 
mapping out areas off camera as well but for now I think it looks pretty great so if you did enjoy this particular first part let me know by way of pressing the like button comment down below your thoughts is there anything you think I should include I should um, make it different like I said if you decide to if you decide to download this build and you want to change up some of the sort of churchy elements you're not gonna hurt my feelings if you do that um, I just wanted to create a more modern looking type of church venue for weddings instead of the traditional steeple that a lot of simmers do that I see on the build so I thought something like this would just kind of speak to kind of how churches are sort of built these days in a more modern style but also if you haven't already and you want to see more content from me please subscribe i try to post every week and i would love to have you be a part of the southie family as always my name is cc and i promise never to break your game bye